Right guys, so today we're going to talk about our favourite highlights from the year 2021. For me is obviously our YouTube channel, you know, we've taken on Gabrielle, who's been a massive help. Simon smashing it. Actually, Simon dropped a comment to the Yes Siri when he found out they were coming to Europe. He dropped a message on Tuesday, and then within like three days, we were over in Glasgow watching us. So that was, I don't know about you, but I think that was one of my favourite YouTube videos we've done. Sorry, Yes Siri, if you're watching this. <laughs> but I didn't know, I'm going to be honest, I didn't know who they really were. Right. But they were so cool, guys. I love Thomas. Eric, Tommy. Yeah, they were cool. Those are the three boys that were up, weren't they? Yeah, but it was nice that they came up. Yeah. To, like, stay with us, film with us. Really bought into our lifestyle, which was really cool. Yeah, they um, just let us live our life, and they want to live the life with us. So, very, very cool. And I think, like, the... I mean, you can, oh, see, yeah, it, him, yeah. you can <laughs> see them there, you know, lifting the stone. They were enthusiastic to lift. They wanted to try things out, and... Uh, they didn't give up, you know, they, they couldn't get them at the start, but then look at this. This is Here one of my favourite moments when they got the stone up. I oh, thought that, that was the next one, I think. Well, they tried, like, they tried about five times to get it, I think. Tommy almost killed himself. I saw Thomas's face looking a little bit concerned. Yeah, it was so cool, you know, and these guys are, like, super popular. They've got, like, almost eight mil or seven odd million subscribers on YouTube. And for them to give up the time to come and film with us, they got to see the World Tour final as well, which we you know, first and second on the podium, which was amazing. Just doing stupid things don't like that. Don't try this at home. You walk into the oak, geez, that's probably about 500 odd kilos. No belt, no knee wraps or nothing. Kind of similar in our mindsets, you know, their thing is like seek discomfort. And that's basically what we do every day um, to become better, to put our body through discomfort every day and, and become stronger and better. So one of the main highlights through YouTube, I think. Again, special shout out to the SCE. Thank you guys for coming up, filming us. That was really amazing. Talking about the yes, Fidi, it leads us on to the first ever Giants Live in uh, Scotland. I think it was at the Hydro. Yeah. Uh, it was the Glasgow's Giants Live, the World Tour Finals. It was good as well because this was the first time, as Tom says, in Scotland that we've had this massive show. It's one of the biggest venues in Scotland, but then we had all these great athletes, Evan, Kev, uh, Maxime, um, there, like, hey. Yeah, incredible, you know, and, and it was such a, an amazing setting. I mean, I've never been in the Hydro, I don't think we've ever been in the Hydro before, have you? No, I don't think so. No. And the, just the setting, I mean, we came out hand in hand as well, which was, I think, a first in Giants Live, so it's stuff that we're, we're getting to be part of the history books, you know, having the first thing in Scotland, coming out hand in hand, the Scottish fans, it was incredible um, and having them Scotland Scotland do it different than any other place in the world we'll tell you that for a fact 100% agree so <laughs> can't wait to see what 2022 um, Giants live in Glasgow but that was. was one and two as well so it couldn't be a bit us better yeah. we stopped the American getting in between us which is a good thing yeah so that was the first time we've been one and two on a podium isn't it so yeah, I think so. Actually. Yeah, it was, yeah. That so. was really cool. Apart from Scotland's strongest bar, obviously, yeah. but in a, in a big Live, show. Yeah. So, yeah, special shout out to Giants Live. Thank you for making that happen. We've been wanting it to happen for so long, I think, you know, to come to our home turf to to let the, the people come and do battle with the Scots, you know. Yeah. Freedom! But we were victorious. Good luck next year, guys. I'm sure it'll be the same result. Yeah, I drink more iron brew and haggis, shall we band it? Right? <laughs> uh, Scotland venues are wired differently, guys. You just gotta You'll you'll learn to perform a little bit better. Huh? This isn't my favourite moment, Tom getting but me being at Europe's strongest man without Tom, this is what I mean, it's a bit bittersweet and unfortunately Tom contracted. So he couldn't come down, which led me to perform for the Stoltman name. You know, it was just on me. Didn't have Tom there to kind of back me up or anything. So I really felt the pressure to perform. And I think for me, that was my best performance of the year. Um, Pipping Alexi to the, the top spot on the podium, which was amazing. Really proud of my performance this time, but just gotten for Tom that he wasn't able to come down. It's all right, I had the Giants live live stream on, screaming at the TV, coughing and splattering away. <laughs> yeah! I got a wee FaceTime call from you after as well, which was nice. <laughs> yeah, so it was cool. It was cool. It was, I think it's my, one of my first Giants lives I missed, but it was cool to actually see it as a fan yeah. point of view and a. Yeah, I couldn't be there, but I was watching it on the TV, so it was cool. The performance was unbelievable, tickers, as they say, you know. Appreciate it. <laughs> Coming from the world's strongest man, I'll take it. Almost the top moment, I think, of, of the year. You know, it's um, winning that first major title for me was a, a huge deal. It was like that, what's the saying, is it the monkey off your back or monkey off your shoulders, whatever it is. Um, 
So yeah, really happy to, to take home Europe's strongest man. And then we've got the two biggest titles then and the strong man. So it was pretty cool. What about football for you? You've had a few highlights of football. Oh, here we go. We yeah. talked about this now, are we boys? Eh? <laughs> obviously, I'm a big Rangers fan. And, uh, you know, obviously, in sec when I came second place in 2020, uh, I went down and kind of got to meet a few other guys. And one of the boys I met said, you know, if you win World Strongest Man in 2021, we'll promise you you'll get looked after here at Rangers. And... You know, obviously they're a massive club and I was like, you know, they're not going to look after just somebody that's <laughs> from the Highland that's a fan. So when I won World Strawberries Man in 2021, um, Rangers put it up on Twitter. That was, that's what I was most excited about. They like, congratulated me on all their social medias. The players reached out and um, I mean, you know, a lot of people don't get, uh, a lot of people don't get excited about There's football and stuff. But, you know, like to even do stuff like this for me is a dream come true. Rangers are the biggest in my oh, the biggest, biggest club in the world, most successful club in the world, and uh, their fans are so loyal, so if you do something very well, the fans and everyone picks up on it, and uh, yeah, Rangers got me in the trophy room, I got hospitality on the days, I've met, I met Gerard, I met all the team, Stephen met, meet Stephen Gerrard, even if you're not a Rangers fan, you know, he's a legend of the football team game, so I got to meet him, shake his hand, and just got a lot of kind of stuff that, you know, normal fans didn't, don't get it get get to be part of you know they treat me well as well i get to go to like all the kind of home games i even get to take Sinead down with us as well so she gets to be involved in it all as well which is cool take my niece down to one of her first games as well so they're so supportive they always ask how i'm doing like i said the players always reach out to me they get banned on instagram and these are footballers and usually my my jaw drops when they i still fan by every minute when they um kind of message me and stuff but then it's same with them when they met me they were like <laughs> You're the world's strongest man, bro. Some of the <laughs> that I was, that's it. And so like they were, they were like all they say is you know we're just footballers at a club. You have just done something that 1.7 billion people haven't. We just play football like millions of people do around the world, and you've done something that no one other person has done. Being part of Rangers and having them to back me is a massive, massive thing for me. And yeah, I'm just grateful that they they'll do it because you know I'm a been a long. I live lifelong support and now I get to follow the team around the world and enjoy them as a fan but also get that added added kind of they can help me out as well and you know I help them out so it's really really cool to be part of it and I love the Rangers fans the fans are the most loyal people in the world so they stick by me whenever I go to games there's always people around me swarming me asking for pictures saying that I've done so much for the you know the sports uh for Scotland and how they're just so proud so yeah it's such a cool feeling being a Rangers fan. So, so you support Rangers, right? I just to uh, confirm. Yeah. 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 Okay, right, that's good. Just to confirm. Well, it was nice actually. We were speaking to Colin Bryce about it and he was delighted. Colin Bryce, owner of Giants Live for people who don't know. Um he said that you were one of the only world's strongest man winners who actually just enjoyed it, you know, as soon as you won it, you know. Glasgow Rangers welcome you down and you were just you know celebrating with them having a good time enjoying it and had more than a good time for six yeah. <laughs> but that was it was nice for Colin to say that because you could actually see how happy you were in doing something like that which I think that's what you know fulfilling your life boyhood you know dream. boyhood dream you know that's it should never be fake that's what a lot of people say to me is uh, you get a lot of athletes or sponsors that say no don't don't uh don't say what's going on in your personal life. If you support someone, cover it up. But I'll never ever do that. Uh -huh. You know, I am who I am, and like I said, football's football at the end of the day. You know, you, you everyone's born with liking something, uh -huh. and I like football, I like Rangers, and I'll always be open about you know supporting who I do, and always be open about you know liking football. So, and I think it's you have to be true to yourself. So, yeah, I think everyone in the world knows you support Rangers now. So, anyway, that was one of your highlights. That was one of them. Yeah, maybe it was probably one of the worst worst times of my life. I didn't know where Tom was half the time, but <laughs> but no, it was good. I was yeah. You could tell it made you really happy, which is all that matters. Still makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my highlights was the, the new range we did, the Leave a Legacy. You know, we worked with Simon and Gabrielle and Harry to come up with the new design and um, being able to do that, you know, a pink design uh, in memory of Mum, you know, with the sunflowers in the back, I think that was really special. And then having Kirsty and Zoe to come in and, you know, join the the, the kind of the promo video we did. That was uh, the first time we've done something like that you know before it was just a merchandise you were in the leave a legacy t-shirt now which looks banging you know it's really nice just
Quinn, and that's more than not included. <laughs> Aye, for all those people that are commenting on Kirsty and Zoe, they're not her sisters. So slide into their DMs if you want. But yeah, I think that was that was that was really nice for us to do that. You know, it's it's kind of coming away from the merchandise more into like the lifestyle wear, the the gym apparel, because um, like we both, I think watching you know Jim Shark how they've done you know they're now a multi uh, multi billion pound business and seeing someone like Ben Francis be so successful it almost gives us inspiration to, to achieve that dizzy heights I know it's pretty crazy to think but who knows in a year's time you know we've we've done this in a year during but let's see what we can do in a year out of times really kind of push on so that anyone can do it if you put your mind to it so, I mean at the end of the day it's just People think it's, it's hard work, but it's making a design and putting on a t-shirt, you know, it's not, there's, there's things to it, but it's impossible. Anyone can start their own yeah. clothing brand and then go from working in their house to <laughs> yeah. working like this, you know, so. But I think it's nice because it's, it ties in with what we're trying to do, yeah. yeah. So like Simon and Gabs, you know, they came on board, created the designs. Thankfully, Simon could use this Photoshop stuff, so we didn't have to do a sketch. So Simon did all that kind of artwork and stuff, which was great. I think for both of us, seeing that merchandise, the the gym clothing or the, the clothing line grow, I think that was a, a big highlight this year. Because that then enables us to, you know, fund financially this place. I think that's a, a good highlight for us, you know, the yeah, business cool, side. Yeah. Getting this place as well, this is pretty cool. You know, from what it, what it was to what it is now, um, and again, that's a big thank you to, you know, Gab, Simon, Harry putting the work in. We're all painting. Um, Ali G as well, of course. You know, Ali was uh, a big, big part of it all. But I think having the an office place or somewhere like this where we can work from, you know, come down and, and chill G. out as well. Yeah, a PlayStation over there. You can watch TV. More than a working office, it's you can chill in it. <laughs> I think probably both are number one highlights of the year. World's strongest man. I think you know what we did out there. You know, even though I didn't make podium, which I really wanted to do, I was still exceptionally proud of you know qualifying for the final in the group. I did. That was one of my highlights. You know, Alexi and I having that battle, and then for me, my my greatest memory of this year was by far you winning world's strongest man. I remember coming into the the room, you know, before you went up and did the stones, Brian had his guys and I just came out and I was shouting at you. That was the scariest sight. <laughs> See if you want to get looked angry, holy crap. I've never been scared, but geez, I was going to pack up and leave there. <laughs> I've seen his eyes look directly towards me, didn't say anything, and then he started shouting at me. Oh, daddy, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was... That helped me get fired up because I was getting a bit... I was feeling like drained and fatigued and obviously they were... Sh Brian had his guys there. I didn't have anyone, but then Luke came back in and got me fired up and I was ready to. Yeah, no one was going to beat me then, so. And then I just remember seeing your face look over at Brian's and then you realised like, that was it. You, you know, won the biggest title that... Wait till you see it on TV, that bit, you'll, see, you'll, you'll understand what you see. But yeah, yeah, I thought I mapped up as well because I clipped one of the barrels. Yeah. And I kind of thought, oh, that's it. And then when I turned over to see Brian, I'd not done it. I was like, thank God for that, you know? People don't realise, they'll probably watch it by now, how hot it was. It was like almost like 40 degrees plus, probably there. So for you to put that stone run in, smash it the way you did, was incredible. But even competing in that weather's dangerous. Um, yeah. Like, you know, walking around. Hot. Like, well, just as walking around, you can, you know, severely get sunstroke. There's heat waves over there, you can... No, pass out so the lift those weights we were doing you know and both get to the final like mm. we said from Scotland not used to the heat to then it was getting hotter and hotter every day you know so but I think that's that's a big credit to your mindset as well because that was the first time we were in Sacramento competing it was just us two that was out yeah. there it was a lot of new stuff and I know from experience you know before a lot of the new things used to affect me as well but yeah, probably affect, affect, I mean like yeah. my suitcase didn't turn up and I was just like yeah. It'll come, they said it'll come tomorrow and I just left it as it was and yeah. went and got on with my day, you know, and that was, well, like, when it did, it, so that's usually what would come to my mind, like you said, Sinead wasn't there, but I knew she was on FaceTime, so I used that to yeah. advantage, used Dan, so yeah, I kind of just went over there and kind of like, do what we're there to do, and the rest will take care of itself, so, no, I and think. it worked well. We didn't exceed any energy, like we didn't yeah. do, use any more energy we needed to, we ate, like professionals over there as well we didn't go to just a buffet because it was free food that's what i say about you know you have to 
spend money and you have to spend money on yourself so you can win big things and me and Luke spent thousands probably over there on food and what happened you know we ended up winning whereas people were getting food poisoned because they were having free food mm. or changing their diet up and uh, we didn't do that so uh, yeah we uh, followed everything to a tea and, and i think that's just again from the work we've done with amy you know having that self-belief but that's and that self-confidence that we need to do, do those things and that's why you know you've won world's strongest man but well, yeah world's was a great uh, obviously it's going to be the biggest thing that happened in 2021 but probably the biggest thing to happen in my life right now both our lives yeah. like i said it grew the business people are going to be talking about it then we're going to be competing in february blah 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 so mm. yeah it's going to be talked about for a while but i think it was yeah very good i think with me and you went over there as and people had never really seen us yeah. that kind of professional or focused and I think that's what surprised a lot of people. Yeah. Even when I look at Europe Strong, man, I think people were like, okay, this isn't the look that it used to be, this isn't the Tom it used to be, this is scary, Definitely. you know? So, Definitely. Like, because, you know, Luke beat Novikov, which, you know, everybody was saying that Novikov is, was the one to beat, you know, and, no one's, and that Luke wasn't going to win his group or wasn't even going to come top three in his group yeah. and what happened, you know? Sorry about that, I like, like Love you. But Luke's stone battle with... Uh, Kev, yeah, Kev was so cool. Like Kev's really good at storms, and I thought it came to a point where I was like, ah, oh, Kev's gonna get you. And then Luke had like, you had nothing left. You had one thing, and you just got over. Then yeah. Kev, and that was cool because that went again. You could go past your failure, fail you, and you had your mind to kind of help you. Whereas if it was a year before, I you have given up. So, yeah, definitely. Like you can see the amount of practice we put into it as well. So yeah, yeah. it's been it was a really good competition too go out and dominate as well so so i think that's definitely the top highlight world's strongest man tom stoltman the best strong man in the world is also my highlight because of course you're my baby brother now it's the first of season so let's get a dj in the house and celebrate again anyway guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed our highlights have a great christmas have a great new year um have a strong 2022. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.